All right. Good morning, everyone. Thanks, everyone, for joining in. My name is Nick. I hope uh, you guys can hear me loud, and also if you can see my screen. If you guys are able to hear me loud, and also if you're able to see my screen, please do acknowledge in the chat window. Hey, hi. Good morning, Atanu. Hey, good morning, Pratik. Good morning, Anuja, and good morning, Mukul. Perfect. So I believe everybody is able to hear me loud and clear, and can also see my screen. The session is getting recorded. All right, perfect. And uh, okay, I've got a question from Atanu. Why is Mahe? Uh, what do you say? The different time zones. So okay, this particular you're talking about the you're, you're asking about the different time which is getting reflected over here. This is the Eastern Standard Time. So uh, which is there in New York and Toronto and so forth. All right. Otherwise, the Indian Standard Time is right up over here. All right, so today's the second session. We'll go ahead and get started with uh, a new session, guys, by doing a small recap of what was being covered across previously in the very first session. This is something which I always do. So I would request each one of you to type in across the topics which you remember from the previous session, guys, which happened yesterday. Do type in across all the topics which I hope you remember. So that will be a great recap, guys. All right, so Pratik says we did understood uh, the, uh, what's, what's marketing all about, the introduction to marketing, introduction to digital marketing, absolutely yes. What else? And Adhanu says introduction part from everybody, absolutely yes. And introduction and also the concept of marketing. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks so much. What else did we cover? Also about uh, SEM, SEO, that's right, Tanu. And Mukul says introduction about social media, oh yes. And also we spoke about website creation, Tanu says, yes. Anuja says we did cover what is marketing and digital marketing. What are the modes of, uh, modes of doing promotion through web, SEO, social media. Pratik says, we also had a glimpse of different Google certificates. Yes, that's absolutely correct. What else? Anything else which you guys remember? What else? Email marketing, or oh yes, absolutely. We spoke about various different form of uh, channels. So if you guys remember, remarketing also, that's correct, Sovic. So we spoke about email marketing, we spoke about email, remarketing. That was all uh, from the introduction point of view. Mukul says the penetration of internet growth. Absolutely, this was something we spoke while discussing the, the advantages of digital over the offline part. Atunu says Google Analytics. Yes, absolutely. I had given you a glimpse of it. Paid and the unpaid. Absolutely, yes. Thanks so much, Atanu. And Anuja says Google AdWords. Yes, I gave you a glimpse of Google AdWords too, with the help of which uh, various different form of paid ads are being created. All right, anything else, guys, which you remember from previous session, we spoke about the third party websites, right? We spoke about how as a user, as an internet user, what all different things we do over the internet. We do search, we took an example of uh, a normal day-to-day -day internet usage while you have a need for a particular product, right? In our day-to-day -day life, whenever we need any specific product or we, we have a need for anything uh, we, we try to search it over the internet these days pretty precisely right and see that which one which particular thing is going to be feasible for us we took an example of mobile absolutely yes perfect anything else guys which you remember from the previous session
All right. So that was a great recap. Let's move ahead. I would like to ask you if you have any questions, any doubts, guys. You can uh, let me know. I I would go ahead and uh, answer across your doubts, queries uh, to the best of my knowledge, and then we'll move ahead. And then I'll talk about what are the topics to be covered across in today. All right, so any questions, any doubts? Okay, I think then I can move ahead. So today we're gonna get started, guys. The very first and the foremost thing is, uh, first and the foremost thing, after studying, after getting to understand digital marketing from the very basic level, we understood uh, what marketing is, what digital marketing is, what different sort of channels are there in the digital marketing world, right? What all opportunities the digital marketers get, right? Now we'll start with the website. Now website is something which is the most basic thing guys. Till the time we do not have a web presence. How can we go ahead and promote uh, our product or services on the internet? Can we do that? So I have a question for each one of you. Do you think without having a web presence, can we promote across our product or services? The answer is no, perfect. You guys have got it correct. Till the time we do not have any presence on the internet, we cannot promote across our product or services. Now the other question I have is, what is the definition of web presence? When I say web presence, guys, is that we need web presence in order to, uh, you know, in order to go ahead and promote across our product and services, we need web presence. Right? We spoke, of, I just said that, okay, we do need web presence. Without web presence, we cannot, really move ahead. Now the next question is, how would you define web presence, guys? All right, so Pratik says our identification on the web, absolutely. And how can we identify our, ourselves on the web with the help of what all things? Through website, all right. Thanks, Pratik. Anyone else? And anything else do you think besides Website, web presence can be made. So it says we should come up as a search option when someone searches for a similar product. Yes, absolutely. That is uh, when our web presence is done, then it's all about going ahead and uh, promoting that particular web property of ours on the channels where people go, where our targeted audience go. Yes, which is gonna be step two. Talking about the step one, which is building up our web presence, what is that definition? So, you know, uh, Pratik just mentioned that it's identification on the web. That's how we define web presence. And uh, we can build it up through a website. Do you think only through a website our web presence can be built up or it can be built up through other modes also? Through any other thing besides a website? Or is it only the website? Guys, try out. I'm, I'm not uh, going to go ahead and say that uh, it's it's a wrong answer. So don't don't just uh, get scared that you're going to answer something wrong. There's some, nothing or nothing like that. It's just that you keep trying. That'll help. So Pratik says through social media also. Yes, Atanu says through email. Yes, absolutely. See, having a Facebook page, having a Twitter handle, having uh, your you know business uh, Instagram profile. All of these things does in does come under web presence, all right, along with website. So website is definitely the, I would say, the first and the foremost thing which uh, came into the internet world, right? When it comes down to creating a web, uh, web presence, creating across a presence of your business on the website, website or a web page was something which was the first thing. I do remember very well. It was 1998 when you know I started working across on the internet. That was way back. At that point of time, it was it used to be Yahoo sites, all right. So I used to play around with that, and then I used to wonder that what it, what kind of uh, uh, you know value is it providing? So I was a student at that point of time. I never realized. I I never had an understanding that this is precisely more or less beneficial for the businesses, right? Uh, the internet was at that point of time was wasn't really that uh, penetrated across. Not many people had internet and so forth. 
right? I, 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 I used to feel like, okay, I can go ahead and create a class, uh, you know, sort of a profile of mine and so forth. So web presence guys, now for, with this example, what I'm trying to say is that it's not web presence is not only for businesses, web presence is also for, uh, you know, professionals at a personal level, at a professional level and so forth, right? But we are going to be focusing more on the uh, you know, business level only. Our examples are going to be totally related to some of the other product because in a day-to-day -day life of a digital marketer, he would be given across some of the other product to promote. All right. We'll take certain examples. We'll take certain situations, guys. I'll give you situations where I'll ask you to get into the shoes of a digital marketer, think like a marketer, think like a digital marketer, and then let me know what needs to be done. Well, coming back to the first and the foremost question, you guys have answered and nailed it correctly, and uh, that's good. Keep keep participating, guys. Keep on uh, having interactive session only. All right, so I've got some more stuff over here from Pratik. Pratik says, website builds stress, trust on the consumer's mind. Whenever a consumer looks for any product like laptop, mobile, etc., of any brand, so if that brand has its own website on the web, customer feels positive and trust is built between the customer and the brand. Absolutely, yes. So uh, there's no doubt about that. So having web presence is one thing and why having web presence is something which you have answered that what exactly web presence really leads to. Why is it important? What is the benefit of having web presence? Uh, what advantages does it really bring across to the table in terms of doing business, in terms of going ahead and promoting your product? So web presence does all this. It builds the trust. It makes the end customer, the potential customer believe in your product and uh, the credibility goes up, right? The end customer feels that, okay, yes, uh, there, is, there, there is a product in the market which has got presence over the internet. And when you talk about customer feels positive, this is one step in terms of feeling positive. There are many more things in terms of feeling positive, like, you know, having the reviews, asking across your existing customers to give across reviews to you and so forth, reviews to your product and so forth, right? We'll talk about all that in detail. Thanks so much for uh, punching this across. So web presence can be built across, not with the help of website. If we talk about today's uh, era, it's also through mobile apps, right? It's also through mobile apps, whatever you want to call that, mobile or mobile. So through mobile apps, I, I'm assuming that you guys would agree to me, the kind of uh, internet usage we guys are doing these days, it's more on mobile uh, and that too on apps rather than on a desktop or a laptop, right? So I mean, with, with my case, it's very much there. I believe in your case also, uh, specifically for people who are in metros, they, and they, are, they have got busy, uh, hectic lives, scheduled and so forth, uh, I think, Mobile phone is the in thing and using a cross app is much more. So the penetration of mobile phone is also way too higher. Plus people prefer smaller screen because it's handy. It's, uh, it's easily accessible. You can check across anything or everything over the phone, whether it's to do with searching across for, let's say, uh, my email, my social media stuff, uh, whether it's Facebook, Snapchat, WhatsApp, I mean, you name all of these things. These are something which eats across our maximum time, right? Uh, our overall daily time, if we talk about the, the daily uh, consumption of internet is done most over the mobile phones, right? So having presence, not just with the help of website, but also mobile apps, but also through social media is something which is needed these days. Uh, they all are supporting to each other. They all are building blocks. I cannot say that only having a, uh, you know, Facebook page is enough for a business or having a Instagram profile or a Twitter handle is enough for a business and creating a website or a mobile apps, which is a paid feature uh, that is not recommended. Well, I'll tell you, this is a very strong debate, guys, which happens. Many people uh, try to consider, try to, you know, uh, debate across on this topic. Why I say try is because uh, they, they'll keep trying and there's, no gonna be, there's not going to be any fruitful answer to it. The debate is that, is, is it important to have a website these days or is it okay to go ahead with uh, these free properties? Like uh, when I say free properties, they're they created across 
uh, without spending in any money, which is like Facebook profile or Twitter handle and so forth. So there is a debate that is it important to have website or mobile apps or uh, we are good with all these free, free, uh, uh, you know, free properties like Facebook posts, Facebook pages and so forth. Well, the answer to this question, guys, is that it a lot upon it, it a lot depends upon the kind of business, the nature of business, the situation you are in. I would recommend for small and medium businesses who do not have much uh, budget to really spend in across, or I would say not even. Uh, so even for a freelancer kind of person, you will find out that they create across uh, things on the free platforms, which is absolutely good, right? I mean, you've got you've got few things which internet offers you, they which are not at all chargeable. It's good to go ahead and get your presence on them first when you do not have a budget at all for creation of website or creation of uh, mobile apps and so forth. But slowly and steadily, when the uh, you know the venture starts picking up, there's a there is revenue being generated. Then one should really then one should really go ahead with uh, you know creation of website and mobile apps and so forth reason being they all have a space they all have their own importance so a space which is going to be filled up by a mobile app can never ever be filled up by a website and vice versa right so they all have their own pros pros and cons i would say they all have their own importance you cannot uh, your business cannot live without any of those at, at at a certain situation if you want to scale up you do need all of them it's like 360 degree marketing right Customers are going to find you at every place. Just take an example of any particular brand. Let's, let's talk about a smaller brand or a bigger brand. Think of any brand. I'm not asking you to let me know the name of a brand. Won't you really search for that particular brand? Won't you really expect that brand to be there on all of those uh, places, whether it's a mobile app, whether it's a Facebook page, or whether it's on Twitter or whether it's on YouTube or whether it's on Instagram or whether having a website. The answer is yes. I mean, you generally try to have expectation from most of the brands who, which you are familiar to you or which are not even familiar to you, right? Which uh, you have never heard of, but you still as a customer, you expect them to have presence on every single platform. You cannot say that to a particular brand, which is there on one of the channel uh, should not be there on the other. One great example is, uh, so I think everybody is here from India and you must have heard of this particular brand called Mintra.com, right? They thought of, they thought of uh, having a mobile app only, right? And didn't have, not having a cross website. So I hope you guys are aware of that, guys. So, a lot depends upon your audience. You know, what is your audience really expecting? Now, even another example, if I'll take Uber apps, Uber mobile apps, uh, Uber or Uber, or whatever you want to pronounce that across, which are the taxis, the cab people, Ola apps and so forth. These are just apps. These have been deliberately created apps only and nothing, there's nothing on their website. But still, uh, you know, statistics shows that People desperately want Ola and Uber, at least in India, to be there on uh, desktops also, to, to have their website and then take uh, you know, reservations on their websites as well. So, but the idea with their business model is that they don't want to get, get into that. They want the GPS functionality, which might not really come across so easily with the desktop and laptops. And there are certain integrations which will not come across. But yeah, but the overall thing is you have to really evaluate your business and see whether uh, can you have your presence, can you have your business presence on all of those? The, if the answer is yes, the, there's no, uh, you know, the, the business model doesn't say that you should not have any presence. You should not, you should avoid any particular uh, platform, then you should go for it. But the idea is whether to, I mean, the, the question is whether to go or Bang, go with the band like with uh, presence across and all of them all together or a step-by-step -step approach that is something which depends if it's a small business with lesser budget go with the free resources creating a Facebook page creating a Twitter handle creating across an Instagram and a YouTube channel which doesn't even uh, require any money and once it starts getting populated people start knowing you you start getting revenue for your business then you can invest in into your website 
Now, having said all of this, today's session, guys, we are starting with the website altogether. We are assuming that there is a particular business which does have the budget for creating a website. My objective with this session, guys, is going to make sure that each one of you are able to create a website in the most non-technical fashion. Number one, I'll just go ahead and uh, use across the document, guys, which I used the other day. All right, so I'm going to scribble on, uh, scribble across again, and today for sure I'm going to share across this document, guys. Uh, reason being, yesterday I didn't share because. I don't let me just go ahead and uh, do both. I mean, for Saturday, Sunday, both scribble for both the days and then share it across. Now, session two, guys, which is all about having a web presence. We spoke about first of all having a web presence. What does web presence really mean, right? We spoke about that. All right. We also understood a question. I try to make you understood and answer questions. Answer that. What do we mean by web presence and uh, is it good to have web presence with the help of just selected platforms which are free like Facebook page, Twitter and so forth. I did answer this. You can anytime go ahead and uh, refer to the recording later on along with the document so that uh, it will give you. Now these kind of questions guys uh, definitely are not practical but from the theoretical point of view it broadens your horizon. You know these kind of discussions do happen in the internet marketing world. Now the objective of this session, the objective of session number two, I'm, which is, uh, which should be clear right. The objective of session two is to answer. To build to build a business web presence with the help of a responsive. Now, responsive is the word, guys. Responsive website. Now, what does the word responsive mean? So, like, let me go ahead and ask each one of you. Uh, I, I don't want to answer this. So, I would answer that for sure. Now, you know, this is the in thing these days, guys. Whenever we talk about having a website, people say not just a website, it has to be a responsive website. What do you think a responsive website is all about? As per your understanding, you can. So don't hesitate to for type in across uh, just with the fear that you're going to say something wrong. Just type in whatever you feel like, guys. I'm not, I'm not here to look into the cool rights and the wrongs. Uh, Pratik says responsive website is the website where a customer gives reviews. Traffic comes on that website. Or thanks, Pratik. We really appreciate that. Atanu says both way communication should be viable there. All right. Okay. Thanks so much. And uh, Anuja says, which is accessible on all type of devices. Okay, can you explain furthermore, like what are the what are different type of devices are you referring to, Anuja? And anyone else who wants to try, what does the word responsive would really mean over here? A responsive website. Anuja says, uh, like tablet, mobile, and iPhone, and so forth. All right. Thanks. Anyone else who wants to jump in and type across? So we've got uh, Anuja, Tanu, Mukul, Pratik, and Sovik. All right. Mukul says communication and reviews are seen by the customer on the website. That's what we mean by responsive. All right. Great stuff, guys. Thanks so much for uh, participating and adding in your valuable points. Really appreciate that. Well, uh, responsive definitely means a website which looks good, which opens well in uh, opens well across on all the different devices which are there, like uh, Anuja did mention across. Uh, the other part which is having reviews and so forth, I'll talk about that also. Thanks so much, guys. 
So responsive means friendly. So you can say the website is friendly to various devices. Let me just show you an example of responsiveness, guys. Now there is this tool which is called Responsive Design Checker. If you want to check if any particular website is responsive or not, there are certain tools for that. I'm showing you one of the tools through which you can understand, you can really check whether a website is responsive to various different devices or not. All right, so I'm sharing first the, this particular tool. All right, so what uh, I can take across my website, so I'm show showcasing you one of my website guys. So this is my agency website, all right? And uh, we check whether it's, so there are two ways through which responsiveness can be checked. And with responsiveness, I've already said that a website which looks good which is accessible, which is uh, easily navigatable, all right, on various different devices. Now, this is the website URL. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. Now, this is the website, guys, just to give you a glimpse of it. It does have different tabs, like what does the agency do, the pricing packages, the list of clients, testimonials, case studies, services, you know, what all the services we provide, like SEO, social media, and so forth. That's the blog page, contact us page. You can anytime refer to the blog page, guys, of this website in order to keep yourself updated about what's happening in the internet marketing industry also. All right, so now I'm going back to this tool, guys. I am placing across the URL. Also. All right, so here's the URL, guys, which I'm placing it right over here in this bar. And I'm clicking on to go now. All right. Now the very first device guys, which is shown over here is the iPad landscape. So on, on the iPad, my website looks like this. It's going to look like this. All right. I do not have to really open it across on all the websites. On, on all the platforms one after another. It's this particular, what do you say, device uh, or this particular URL, the responsive design checker, I can check it for all the devices. Now I can straight away check it for other devices. Now this is for MacBook Air 11 inches, all right? Similarly for MacBook Pro 15 inches, 17 inches workstation, 27 inches workstation, right? Similarly, iPad portrait, iPad landscape, Nexus 7, Nexus 7 landscape, Nexus 7 portrait, iPhone landscape. All right. So can you see the content guys? Now here you can see it's, it's been visible. The content of my website has been looking good. It's there's no haphazard stuff. It's looking well, and uh, uh, the content basically is not getting shrinked or skimmed across in any of the devices, right? It's fitting well. Plus, it's readable across also. One doesn't have to really go ahead and uh, do uh, so much of zooming in to check the content. It's all coming up very well. As you can see, these images, guys which so social media marketing, organic long-term SEO. So these four images, if you see, the way it's appearing across on an iPhone is like this. And if I try to see it across on a laptop, it's appearing, it's appearing one after another. So what's happening, it's automatically, it's automatically the entire components of the website guys are coming in 
are, are getting adjusted in a certain in, in a certain fashion that they appear perfect. They're appearing, uh, they're, they're looking good. Hope it makes sense. Right, so this is purely about responsiveness, guys. I'll uh, let you know how you can create across a responsive website. Now, the other thing is, not just this is the only way, it's not just that this is the only way to check the responsiveness. There's one way to, another way, one another way to check responsiveness, guys. Okay, I'm going on to my website again, and I'll show you how responsiveness uh, checking can be done along with this particular tool. All right, seems like internet connectivity. All right, so, uh, just give me a second, guys. I'm gonna change the internet connectivity. All right, so here we are on the home page. Now, what do you need to do in order to check the responsiveness, guys, is you have to shrink this page. So what you can see, the more I'm going to shrink this page, the ratio or the proportion in which this page is getting shrinked up, the images are not going to be shrinked. They are going to be reshaped automatically in the same ratio in which the, in the ratio in which the website is getting uh, shrinked across. So just have a look. So the image won't cut out, it won't crop. So these images, see? Can you see the image size, guys, is getting reduced on its own when I'm reducing the size of the entire, uh, what do you say, screen altogether. So the content size, the content, the font size also is getting reduced across, right? So this is, Another definition of responsiveness, guys. We can take another website and check that and see whether that's responsive or not. So the image size is becoming bigger and smaller depending upon, I mean, the way I'm shrinking it across. Right? The content is also getting adjusted according to that. So this is the in thing, uh, guys, these days with respect to website creation if you do not have a responsive website which doesn't which does look good across on all the devices if you do not have a website which is responsive and uh, gets shrinked like this uh, then there is no point in having across a uh, website guys all right so we'll understand this now moving further i'm taking across so i hope everybody is and has understood this if you want i can take across another website as an example and then just let you know whether that's now which website shall I take? Understood, perfect. All right, so let's take Amazon. So Amazon will also be responsive. So if I'll go ahead and uh, reduce the size of Amazon, they're also responsive. No, they're not. Can you see they haven't? done some of the elements of the website to be responsive. So the navigation didn't cut out, guys. So their, their homepage is not responsive, pretty strange. I never expected this from Amazon. So can you see the image is getting uh, not resized or reshaped when I'm decreasing the size of my screen. It's actually reducing, it's, it's cropping across the entire images and so forth. All right, so I think we are good in terms of this. We'll just move ahead. I'm gonna open my doc again. So the objective is to build across a business web presence with the help of a responsive website. And we spoke about what do we mean by responsiveness, friendly to various different devices. All right, and one of the tools through which we can check across the responsiveness of website is this. And the second way, the second way to Check responsiveness. It's by reducing the size or 
of your browser browser window all right and uh, you can always refer to the recording after that now the second thing another thing guys which you did mention that uh, another thing which you did mention about uh, what do you call the website feature the feature which is the having across a two way communication that particular part guys is called web 2.0 all right so two way communication web 2.0 is a term which is used across for a website which has got two way communication where viewers or visitors whatever you want to call that viewers visitors to your site can give reviews can post their comments etc so that is also something which i'll i'll explain you guys so not just responsive and having web 2.0 feature so web 2.0 means this plus if you want also in case you want to know also in case you want an e-commerce website we will be able to create that also all right so i hope you can understand creating across an e-commerce website is the most uh, i mean would be a difficult or a, i mean difficult task as compared to creating across a normal website another just a website with uh, you know certain normal features and so forth with e-commerce you have multiple things to really take care of but we will see how can you create any sort of a website whether it's a b2b website b2c an e-commerce website a non-e-commerce website an e-commerce website means absolutely the uh what do you say shopping website and so forth all right so this is the overall objective and we'll start with and another thing which i want to mention again over here is all this is to be done without having any technical knowledge now what do exactly we mean by technical guys is no coding and so forth all right no coding no designing plus you know now the big, now the challenge is if you do not know coding designing and so forth and you need all these features whether it's an e-commerce whether it's responsiveness and uh, having a web 2.0 how could that be done well we would be using a cross all right now how to do this all right the steps basically now comes in the steps guys steps to create the websites and i have a specific other doc for this which i'll be sharing it across steps to create steps or right, steps to create and so forth that's what i'll type in we would be using across a platform guys you must have heard of uh, this platform name with, with uh, from from many sources i believe if you have heard that it's good if you, if not if you're hearing it for the first time then also it's fine we would be creating the website guys on a platform name wordpress now wordpress guys is a cms basically first of all what is a cms let me tell you this so there is this platform guys there is this technology cms is a technology which stands for content management system all right content management system are those systems basically which help in managing the entire content as the name says so what is the what do we really refer to as content on a website on a website what are the things guys which you will call across as content now if it, if i talk about this particular website what do you think is content right up over here what all things would you really include across as a content content elements anyone so what all things would you in 
mention, all right, so Pratik is about services, case studies, all right. These are all navigation, the one which is there on the top. I appreciate it. Thanks, Pratik. Anyone else who would like to say, so mobile-oriented PPC, yes, all right, the text which is coming on the top, which Mukul says, and which says all information about services, home, about us, navigation, banner, yes, absolutely. Right. So, everything, guys, so when we talk about content, uh, Tanu says highlights of services and contents, critiques is online reputation management details, etc. Absolutely. Right. So, content, guys, if we talk about content of a website includes across, includes all the images present. Now, whatever different images are there on my website, whether it's a banner, whether it's an image number one, image number two, three, four, five, six, so forth, every single image is, part, is actually part of content. Every particular text, right, is a part of uh, the content of the website. Every particular web page is part of the content. Right? These are different web pages, plus the navigation on the top and so forth. So all of these, all the images present, written text, all the various pages, and uh, navigation, menu, etc. Right? These are various different things. They all are content guys. Now, the way we go ahead and uh, use across a PowerPoint presentation, guys, I hope each one of you would have worked on to a PowerPoint presentation where it's absolutely easy to go ahead and drag and drop things include delete increase the font size decrease the font size and change the font with the shape and color or the style and so forth the way you go ahead and work across on uh, a powerpoint presentation or the way you work across on facebook which is purely uh, you know dragging and dropping across in the same fashion a content management system allows of website owners to go ahead and change across things, change across content, change across any particular element of a website in very simple fashion. The entire content of the website, I have I've told you what exactly it includes. Now, if when it comes down to restructuring, managing it across in a proper fashion, content management system helps in doing that. All right, I'll give you a glimpse of a content management system. Now, there are various different content management systems, guys. There are various content management systems which are there in the internet industry, which are available in the online world. I'll just go ahead and talk about a few of them. I'll just name them. So WordPress is the number one. It's the most renowned one, all right? And it's, it's absolutely good in, uh, in most of the things. We'll be talk about what are those most of the things. WordPress is one. Open Cart, Magento, Typepad, and plenty of others. Zoomla is another one. So you know, if you've heard of these names, don't really get confused at what exactly these names are. These are content management systems. Our overall working is going to be on WordPress. We'll be seeing how do we create across a website, first of all, on WordPress. Plus, not just create, but also manage. So let me tell you, our objective is not to just build also. So we said to build a web business presence, to build and also and maintain. Maintain or you can say work upon, right? The definition of maintain would be like when I mean, you want to work upon, you want to change any element on your website. Today you've got a website ready, but tomorrow you don't know, don't have any idea on how to really go ahead and include a new page, add a new page, delete an existing page, add a new image, delete an existing image, and so forth. Then there's no point in learning across that stuff. We will understand how that editing part is also being done. Now, to help you with WordPress, guys, I know this is theoretical, which is right. Right now, I haven't come on to the practical. Let me just 
flip the slide and show you the practical version of what a WordPress uh, look and feel is like. Okay, some of you might have seen, some of you might not. Now this is the front end of the website, guys, right? And this particular website is also made up on WordPress. This particular website is sorry made up on WordPress. I'm going on to the back end of this website and showing you the WordPress part. The back end, when I say the the platform of this website through which I, as the owner of the website, can go ahead and make changes on the website. All right. If I want to make changes on my website, on this particular website, I am the owner. I should be having the backend details, right? The details, the username and password, basically, through which I can make changes. Now, the changes for changing things across, for making any specific alterations, what I need is the backend details. And the backend over here is the WordPress, since this is made up on WordPress. I'm going ahead and opening across the backend, guys. So, Whenever a backend of a website, guys, has to be accessed, which is of a WordPress based website, you would have to type in, first of all, the URL of that website. So, the URL of my website, the main domain of my website is biocreations.ca, then forward slash, forward slash wp hyphen admin, guys. Now, this is the default, this is the default, uh, I would say, web structure through which any particular WordPress based website backend will come up. So the name of the website will remain like this. Then the forward slash, then you have to punch in forward slash button and then WP, WP stands for WordPress hyphen. All right. And then admin since the admin can only have the access and it's since we are born to get into the admin <coughs> platform. Give me a second. Excuse me. All right, so I'm pressing enter. All right, so Pratik said this URL is only when website. Absolutely, yes, Pratik. Absolutely. All right, so this is the default web URL structure for getting into the admin section of a website which is made up precisely on WordPress only. All right, so the website name forward slash wp hyphen admin. This is the default URL structure. I'm pressing enter. Now here comes the back end, uh, what do you say? The back end look and feel guys. The WP admin, now this is called the WP admin. This is the back end of this particular website. Now, yes, definitely Pratik, that's the name of the website. Bioperation is the name of the website. Now whatever the website name is, you have to punch in the name of the website, then forward slash WP hyphen admin. Now, only the owner of the website will have the detail now, which is to do with the username and the password. All right. The username and the password, it's not that anyone and everyone can have this. Only the person who has created it can only have it. Right. So I'm just. All right, so I'm just putting across the same note. The default URL structure is the website name. All right, whatever it would be. Dot com, dot av, xyz, dot whatever. Forward slash wp hyphen admin. All right, once that's been done. This is the overall look and feel. Basically, that's how it's going to look like. We'll, we'll come on to this. How do we really uh, get onto this? But I'm just trying to show you how does WordPress really looks like guys and how the entire content of the website gets uh, managed across. I'm clicking on to login. I have the username and password with me. All right. So for my website, that's why I'm able to log in and able to 
get into the WordPress panel, guys. So you would be able to do it for your website respectively, and you will be creating it across, and we, uh, I would be helping you with that. All right. Now this is a default uh, screen, guys. A default first screen of a WordPress-based website. The back end, you know, when you log into the back end, this is the default screen. All right, so I'm just going to make a note of it. All right, so just give us a few pointers over here. This is the first screen, guys. Now, what all different elements? What all different elements WordPress has got? We'll, we'll talk about that uh, as we move further. But what you can see, all my blog posts, guys, have been managed across in one particular tab. All my images are managed across in one particular tab. If I have embedded certain YouTube videos, they have been, um, uh, they have been classified and kept separately and managed across properly. Plus the pages, all the various pages of my website, whether it was the about us page, the contact us page and so forth. There, that is also classified right up over here. Then comes in the comment section. Uh, my website is also, what do you say, a web 2.0, since I've got a blog functionality. In my blog guys, all my blog posts, underneath my blog post, they People do get across the opportunity to go ahead and give in across their valuable inputs, valuable comments and so forth. So whatever comments I receive across onto my, underneath my blog post, they're being shown over here. All right, so just to give you uh, a heads up, this is one of, one of the blog posts, guys. That's how it really looks like. All right, so if anybody wants to submit across a comment so there's no comment as of now for this one you can leave a comment over here which is a web 2.0 functionality all right so the comments are also structured separately and similarly the project section gallery section staff section which i have it onto my website over here so i have the project section all right i'm not able to recall so there are certain sections guys, where the project sections and all those sections are there. All right. And uh, the staff section is underneath the about us page on the. All right. And so the case studies are actually the project section. So what all case studies are there? That's the project section only. So everything which is part of this website has been classified in a proper shape and manner underneath the content management system. And the way we can go ahead and edit those things are going to be very easy. So this is one of the page. Okay, which is the about us page and here's the overall staff section, right? So the staff section, the team members and so forth. That's very well visible. I mean, that's, that's absolutely manageable over here. Plus the testimonial section, the partners and downloads and so forth. There are several other projects which includes the case study. Now, let's say I want to go ahead and change across, uh, edit across something. Okay, I've got a question over here. Pratik says, so it's a storage platform. So it's a storage platform where our website content is stored and we can see how our website content is managed. Absolutely. It's been managed over here and there are places which are predefined, Pratik, uh, that these are these sections. Uh, so if I want to change across anything to do with let's say images, then I know that I have to go to the media section. If I have to go ahead and change across a, a video, place across a new video, delete across an existing one, change across an existing one, uh, a video, let's say, then I have to go to this particular tab only. What's happened? There is a place for everything and everything has a place for itself. That's what it's all management. Basically the content is managed right up over here. Now for an example, I want to change across certain content of, one of my blog post page. 
all right one of the blog post page which i had shown you a while back let's say is this one i'm opening it across all right so now you know if i want to go ahead and make certain edits to this particular page i want to delete certain words i want to add on certain words i want to add on certain images over here i can do that with the help of my wp admin my wordpress admin only in the wordpress admin i know that my blog post page are underneath the post section and here i can see this is the one this is the post so these are there are so many blog posts which are over here the one where i want to make changes at this one so it says adwords manage account can finally share negative keyword list across accounts and this is the same one it says adwords manage accounts can finally uh, blah 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 and so forth so i can go ahead and click on to edit all right just click on to edit so editing is absolutely done through the wordpress admin yes so the management the editing and so forth whatever new stuff you want to add on any addition subtraction and so forth now over here if i want to make across any changes i can delete this image i can get across a new image i can uh, go ahead and add on certain more content certain more letters i can do that and then press across save and whatever i'm going to save across it will go live all right it will go live on to my web page my web page will start showcasing the new updated content which i have added on over here all right so that's about uh, an understanding of what wordpress is what exactly it helps us with and how does it really look like all right now to begin with guys in this particular session which is building up a website with the help of a web and that to a responsive website which will help in shaping up our webs okay so we'll be creating across i'm sorry so we'll be creating across a website which is responsive based on upon a particular content management system which is wordpress now to get this built up we need we need certain things and let's try to understand what are those things guys all right just give me a second all right so this is going to take time so we can go for a small break right now and then i'll take you i'll i'll walk you through the entire process all right i'll make you walk through the entire process in terms of how to really start it up yes please so it let me know your question yep the blog on my website all right so from where do you write through wp or via the website itself all right through when you say through wp or through the website the website in itself is on wp and uh, blog is also on wp so i'm having uh, access to both the things through one main login only so my website login and my blog login is one so i'm 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 getting your point that do i your question is that do you have separate logins for your blog and for your website well the answer is i have got the same wordpress login for my website and also for my blog yes the entire content is absolutely done through usually what people do they try to you know create across a blog on a separate uh, platform and a website on a separate platform and even if they create on the same platform their login credentials are different the way i have done is the uh, is 
I have kept it simple, easy, and uh, that is the most appropriate way to do it. Just to have one single, uh, one single sign-in through which we can uh, edit across or shape up or manage both the things in, in through one single thing, through one single way only. But this is, so if you are in the process of creating a website, you have to write every content in WP admin only. The answer is yes. All the content, the entire content of your website. So, you know, whatever pages you will create, whether it's the about us page, the product and services page, the blog page, contact us page, you would have to write content for all the pages which you would like to have, which you will be creating across on your website. That will be done through WP admin only. All right. And you're saying, and after that, if we have to make any editing, that too is possible on this WP admin. That is absolutely correct. Even the changes which needs to be done across onto your website at a later point of time is also going to be done across through the WP admin. We got that correct. And how much time it takes after editing? Oh, just instant. It's instant. The moment you have edited across something and you go ahead and click save, it will be implemented on your website then and there within many seconds. Within many seconds it will be. All right, so there's no time lag. All right, any further questions, guys? Are we good so far? Let me know any further questions you have. And is your website, uh, yes, my website is made up with the help of a template, right? And that's what we will be working upon. In order to keep, uh, get across a responsive website, that to a good looking one, and plus uh, website which is easily editable and uh, no, what do you say, help of a developer or a design designer being needed across, we need a template in that case. And templates works great. Right, so the answer is yes, Sovic. All right, any follow-up questions? Any, any other questions you have, guys? Uh, feel free to put that across. All right, there will be options to choose templates. Yes, there are various different templates which are available, which I'll be uh, making each one of you know about it. First of all, we'll start with how a, you know, a, web, a web domain is being chosen and purchased across then how a website has been uh, sorry a hosting so with webs along with the web domain the hosting has to be purchased and created and and set up and so forth and connected and then comes in the other step which is to go ahead and buy across template all right so there are certain websites like one of the renowned one is themeforest.net and then there is themeofi.me theme fine sorry all right so this is i know one i guess all right see wix is something which is um, i never recommend Wix is going to ask you for, uh, you know, money at a later stage for doing several other things which you would be needing, and uh, Wix becomes expensive in that case. Plus, Wix doesn't allow you to go ahead and you know have a website for yourself for the lifetime. If you have created across a website on Wix, it'll keep charging you a certain amount on a monthly basis. Right. Whereas with the other options, uh, which I'm going to be showing you, you do not have to pay anything, to, you know, on monthly basis and so forth. Whereas Wix needs that, so I don't prefer Wix. Now, Themeify.com is one great website from which templates can be purchased and so forth. All right, so Themeify is basically for selecting across themes of the website. Themes as in the design, the design element, how the website is really gonna look like. All 
All right, perfect. So what we can do is, yes, it's paid. It's paid. I'll see if I can get you across certain themes, guys, for free. All right. So don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll try to get across certain themes. So multiple websites could look similar. Yes. But the chances are pretty less. But it does happen. All right. So if you want to really have a pretty much a very standard or a exclusive design for your website, then you should hire across a developer and a designer only, which is the expensive affair. Right? So the designer and developers are, is an added, uh, added expense, which is more, but if you are going to do it on your own, with the help of themes at least you will have good looking websites, which have been created without any help of a developer designer. All right. So what we can do is if there is any other further question, let me know and so we'll go for a smaller break right now. All right. So multiple or as you're saying, and all these templates are, yes, all these templates are responsive. All right, so let's go for a break then guys, and then we will go for a smaller break and then we'll start with creation of the website, what all different elements are needed for our website and so forth. All right, after the break, we'll do that. Perfect, I'm putting myself onto mute.
All right, so let's get started after the break, guys. All right, so URL, which stands for, that's a great question. Uniform Resource Locator. Any web address, any web address is actually called a Uniform Resource Locator, guys, or a URL. All right, so like uh, themeforest.net, or whether it's linkedin.com forward slash in forward slash link partner, whatever a web address is basically referred as a URL. Responsive design checker.com forward slash biocreations.ca. That is all right. So let's move further. And now we'll go ahead and get started with the website creation part. All right. So I hope everybody is able to hear me, right? Just trying to check. All right, perfect. Thanks, Pratik, and thank you so much. <clears throat> now, with regards to a website creation, guys, whatever website, whatever kind of a website it would be, whether it's a WordPress-based website or a website uh, made up across on any other content management system, any other platform, the two major important things, major resources which are needed for a website creation, guys, first of all, is a domain, okay? And the other one is hosting. Now, what do these really mean? Domain, guys, is the name of your website. So if I have a website which is on my name or any particular website, so biocreations.ca, which is is a name of the website, which is the domain basically. All right, the internal pages, the internal pages of the website as, are not referred as the domain. So these are the uh, sub pages basically. Domain is something which is the main name. Now this is something guys, which has to be booked across. And there are several websites, there are several domain providers. One of the most popular domain provider, which you guys are aware of, which you would be aware of is GoDaddy. Right, and then there are several other players uh, like GoDaddy, which are in the business of selling domains. They're not just selling domains, but they're selling various other things also. But as of now, I'm just making you understand that the first and the foremost thing which you need when it comes down to setting up a website is the domain first. All right, now if there is a domain, uh, you know, a specific domain with uh, you know particular uh, letters and particular word in it there cannot be another website with the same name all right so if i have got my website which is by the name of biocreations.ca there won't be any other website anyone else cannot create across a website with the same name similarly if there is facebook.com or if there is google.com there cannot be another person who can uh, set up you know uh, have a domain with the same name they all are unique to each other all right like we have on my website, some I have my uh, I have another website by the same name by by, uh, by my name. All right, so the domain for this particular website is nickmatla.in. Okay, now what you would see that in this particular website of mine, I've got dot in. The other website which I have shown you has got dot ca. Now the domain guys has got two major elements in it. These two major elements are, first is the name of the domain, and the other is uh, the extension, the top level domain. The extension of the domain, which is after the dot. After the dot, whether it's gonna be dot in, whether it's gonna be dot ca, that is something also which we have to really go ahead and pick and choose. And that part is called top level domain. Let me just see if I've got an explanation around this. All right, I think I had set it up on some other website. Um, give me a second. All right, so I'm just opening across another document. Let me just see if I have details regarding that on this, on that particular.
or I ignore this one. One second, guys. I'm just trying to find a cost specific. Uh, document All right, so here you go. I think I have details in this. Give me a second. I'm just going to place it across in one single dot. So with regards to CMS, I've already mentioned this, that various different CMS are there, right? Other than WordPress, CMS, Content Management System, are OpenCard, Zoomba, Magento, and so forth. I've given this piece of information to you. All right, so starting with how to create a WordPress based website, I've explained to you there are two major things which are needed, and these two major things which are needed across is the domain and also the hosting. Domain, I made you understood that it is the name of the website, and the name of the website is something which has to be seen whether that's available or not. If somebody, if somebody has uh, you know, already taken a specific name which I want, which I want to keep for my website, I cannot, I cannot choose that. I would have to go for some other name in that case. If you do not get across an option, so let's say today I want to create across a website uh, which will have a name as, let's say, Let's say my, my website name is nickpartner.in. All right, just like creating a new email ID, absolutely. Right, just like creating a new, web, a new email ID also involves the same process. All right, so similar name email ID is not also generated. Absolutely, yes, Prati. That is correct. Now today, guys, if, you, uh, if each one of you say that, okay, I'm also gonna create a class. If I have a, you know, if there is another person by the same name, it usually happens across an email address is also, you're not able to get that. But with email address, uh, you know, if you do not get that same name, let's say on Gmail, then you can absolutely go on to Yahoo and then check over there, or you can go into Hotmail and check over there, right? That is one thing which the email provider helps you with. With website, what happens is, if .in is not available for the name which you want, you can check for other extensions. Now the other extensions like other than .in, .com, uh, there are various others, .org, .net, and quite a many. Now this particular term, guys, is called dot, is, is called top level domain. It's called a top level domain stands for TLD, right? TLD, which is top level domain. So the first thing, guys, is the domain which we buy across from uh, any particular domain provider, like GoDaddy is one of them. Whenever we go on to GoDaddy to buy a domain, we will be first. We first need to go ahead and uh, sign up onto that particular website. I'll I'll show you how do we do that. And other we'll we'll create across. We'll buy across the domain, guys. One more thing before I jump onto TLDs, I would like to tell you that the main body, the main uh, you know player in this entire domain level industry is ICANN. ICANN is a centralized body, ICAWN.org, that's the name of the website, is a centralized body which keeps across the database of what all different domains are there and uh, which one are available, which have been taken across, right? So ICANN is, some, uh, is that body which uh, has the entire database and these domain sellers like GoDaddy, and several other like Big Rock and so forth. There's several other players. They have a tie-up with them. They have a tie-up with them with the 
ICANN body and the name for ICANN, so the full form of ICANN, I'm just forgetting it across, it's Internet Name and Numbers something, right? Internet Corporation of Assigned Names and Numbers. That's the name. That's the full form of ICANN. Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers. And uh, is it a, yes, it's, it's a government body institution for, which is, uh, I believe it's a, a part of the US government. They're based out of US, but whether it's a government one or not, I'm not sure about that. I might have to check this. But they're based out of United States, and that that this is a body which controls the entire domain name database for all across the globe. Yeah, New York City, I think that that is correct. You might have seen it somewhere. All right. Now, one more thing, guys, which I would like to tell you: if in case today you want to know that there is a particular domain which you are willing to buy. So let's say, you know, nickbartla.in is my domain and if any one of you wants to also, you know, buy this particular domain and it's been uh, taken across by someone else. Now you are in such a desperate need for this domain that you can't really resist and you, you want to really go ahead and give across offer. You are willing to pay across a certain uh, higher premium price for acquiring this domain, then you can give. Uh, across an offer to that particular person who's having this domain right now. The way you can really get to know the contact details of that person who owns that domain is by either going onto that website straight away, that domain which you want to procure and get into the contact this page. That is one way. All right. So you, you guys want to get this domain, you can go to the contact this page of this website. If my number, if my email address is there, you will straight away go ahead and call me up or call, email me. If in case, the contact this page doesn't have those, then there is this particular great tool, guys, which is called who is who is dot com or who is dot net. All right. Which helps us to know the name, the owner's uh, or name of uh, any particular website, which we'll enter across. So let me just go ahead and point this out also. So let's say with who is if I try to talk about now which website shall we look for? Any specific website you want me to look for in terms of who is? Let's say flipkart.com. All right, so I've typed in across the name. All right, so I have to click on to who is. Now you can see the overall details of that particular person who has purchased this, or the, the organization who has purchased this, the details are right up over here. Not just for a specific domain, for all the possible domains, you can actually go ahead and check their details, right? Who owns this domain? Make sense? Now this is just a who is, who owns this. So who is actually helps you in knowing this. All right, so we're moving further. I can, who is, I've told you. Now TLD guys, TLDs are called the top level domains, which is like .com, .xyz, .n, .com, .au, .x, .co.uk and so forth, all right? Now this is something which is also our choice, which particular top level domain we want. 
there are certain top level domain guys which we cannot get across so easily for example dot edu dot gov dot in so only a government body can actually get across dot gov only an educational institute can get across dot edu you know whenever you book across a domain with an extension dot edu or dot gov and so forth you have to produce across your legal documents and showcase that yes you are a government body that yes you are an educational body and uh, if you are able to prove prove that with the help of the documents then only you will get that and similarly other tlds like .co.uk .ca.com.au which are geographical tlds as in .co.uk is only given across to those businesses which have got themselves registered in united kingdom .ca for canada for .com.au for australia and so forth in case you do not have your organization set up and registered in these places you cannot get these so i have got .ca i have got .ca extension in my dearly uh, in my website just because my website is registered and formed uh, in in canada only right so till the time you do not have that you cannot get it across but they say in this case to whom we have to provide documents i am the password so, so same go daddy people they'll ask you not the government so while you will be going ahead and procuring across the domain you will be able to purchase it but after purchasing there will be a certain time period for which your uh, your domain will be held across like two days and so forth for verification right if you are able to provide across the documents the domain will be there with you otherwise you will be getting across your money refunded and that domain won't be there with you all right now dot edu is only for education institute as i saw it as i said now in any of these cases you have to really go ahead and give across the proofs now various other like .org .net .xyz .net .com you don't have to provide any uh, specific what do you say proof now one uh, very common question guys which comes across you know when we talk about tlds many many people ask me does it really uh, bring a difference to your online presence is there a specific tld which is preferable uh from promotions point of view from the point of view of uh, you know the overall uh, brand image of your business well the answer is no there's hardly any impact on your uh, you know web presence on your web marketing and so forth the slightest of a difference if you are a global company if you're trying to have one single website and you're showcasing your product and services with the help of one single website only try to go for a domain which is available in a dot com tld all right and uh, if you are an educational institute like a government institution then it's preferred to go ahead and uh, showcase that with the help of your tld and uh, if you are let's say a multinational company and you have you are focusing across on different countries with different websites then it's better to have various different web website of yours in different geographical tlds the very good example is one of the good example is amazon so amazon has got amazon.ca amazon.co.uk .com.au and and .in and so forth right so geographical tlds is something that well works well for in such kind of scenarios all right for worldwide it's .com .com
yes, Anuja. Anuja has got a question. If you are focusing across on India, Google India, then URL should be got in. Yes, the preference should be. Absolutely. All right, so this part has been covered already. I mean, uh, I think somebody did ask me, what do we mean by URL? URL is the uniform resource locator or the web page address. So your website name is also a URL. Even your internal page, your internal page's address is also so like this. Oh yes, that's great, uh, Atanu. So your internal page is URL. Internal page's web address is also a URL. .NET and .org are basically there's hardly any difference in these two. So uh, if you are an organization, you can use either of those. So there's no uh, a distinction between these two. Now this web page, guys, which is the about us page, it has got a it has got a URL, a web address, which is also the URL of this page. All right. Now the next thing, guys, is along with the domain, we'll see, we'll understand how that is being purchased across and so forth as we move further. The second thing which is needed across for a website to be created across guys is a hosting server. Now hosting server is, if, if I try to make you explain this in a plain, simple, layman language, it's nothing but it's a, it's a computer only. It's just like very much like a computer which stores across your overall database which is present on your website. So your website has got a database, right? Your website has got so much content. Your overall website web pages are being created and they have to be saved somewhere and that's what the hosting servers are like. Hosting servers are, again, I'm telling you, the second thing after the domain for a website to be created and made live, the second thing which is needed across is, a, is, is hosting, all right? Buying across hosting server, guys, is the second step. You can buy across some various different platforms. GoDaddy also sells hosting. Then one of the renowned hosting provider is HostGator and so forth. And hosting is nothing but it's a place where, or it's a computer in a remote location and so forth, where all your files, your web files, are being stored across and have been made to sit to display. All right, so you can buy across your hosting server from either HostGator, GoDaddy and so forth. And the way you pay across, the way you pay across to these people, whether it's the GoDaddy for the domain or it's the host gator for the hosting, you can pay them. So domain is something which is always purchased across on annual basis. So today I have purchased my domain. It will get renewed for the next one year and so so forth and so on. But whereas with the hosting provider, annual subscription model is there, plus monthly subscription or bi-weekly and so forth, oh, sorry, not bi-weekly, uh, twice in a month, one, once in, uh, I'm sorry, one, once in a quarter, once in two months kind of model is also there. So annual subscription or monthly subscription model is also there. All right, so Pradeek says, but that is saved in the WordPress admin. I'm sorry, what is saved? The uh, files are you talking about? WP admin is an online tool which is uh, not saving. Their role is not saving. Their, their role is managing the content. The main entity where that content is getting saved across is the hosting server only. Even WordPress in itself as a tool which will manage your entire content also needs some space. It will also get saved across, which is on the server. So server is the space, is the place where entire web pages content 
is going to be saved across and wordpress is to be looked in as a just a software which is helping you to manage your entire content but not to save your content the saving functionality is there with the hosting server or gig they all are connected yeah it's a kind of a cloud right and you just say hosting server is purchase is a purchase place in the web to show your data information yes it's a purchase place right it's like in a in a uh, in a cloud atmosphere you've got a particular computer you can say which you have purchased which is saving your data and it's also helping you it's also helping uh, you to showcase your data in the internet world in the world wide web world wide web this particular servers are actually doing two things one is that they are saving your data plus they are showcasing it on the world wide web so these are the hostings basically all right so i'll show you how do we really go ahead and uh, get that set up i can give you a glimpse of my hosting server also and so forth now okay wp admin so anu atanu says wp admin can control modify create the website but to save those things you need a hosting server the answer is yes absolutely pratik says there any body or inspiration who is managing the hosting well as far as i am concerned my knowledge is concerned i'm not sure of but i can uh, definitely google around that so all right so i'm just searching it across all right so it says uh internet governance All right, so they were they were not there in New York City. I can. They are in uh, Los Angeles, California. But I'm looking at if there is certain. So I haven't really got across any specific body which is which have centralized this part. So maybe more more has to be read around it. Then only I can get to know. All right. So as of now, I don't see any specific body which is doing uh, the uh, overall. is is the main hub which is controlling it all right so pratik says it's a virtual cloud based absolutely pratik yeah here is written something in wiki internet governments it says web hosting service All right, so I haven't really. Third point. Okay, I haven't really got a hold of any specific uh, institution which is host management reliability. All right, none of them I did see. 
has got any specific name. Well, you can check that later on and let me also know because I haven't seen any specific uh, company's name being mentioned over here. It's kind of virtual cloud based. Yes, but the name of uh, any specific body is not being mentioned that this is our name of a body which controls the overall hosting part. All right, so let's move ahead. Well, so this is theoretical guys, which I'm telling you right now. With theoretical, we'll be going ahead and following these steps guys practically. I think uh, we should go ahead and uh, I should first show you how can we go ahead, go ahead and buy across that domain. Now, another thing is, do you want uh, to buy a domain by yourself or do you want uh, to be purchased by Nitin or so on, uh, someone else? Uh, I mean, by, by Nitin who was who's supposed to give you a domain. All right, fine, Nitin. Okay. Well, you know what I wanted to prefer. I wanted this to be actually done by you. And uh, Nitin can actually reimburse you for that particular part. That purchasing should be done by you. I'll speak to Nitin. If you guys can actually buy it and uh, Nitin can actually go ahead and reimburse that part. I'll let you know how can you. Because if you would be doing it from your side. You would be in a better situation to understand this process perfectly. So... The way to buy across the domain, guys, in the most cost-effective way, what we do is we type in across a specific. I, I'm I'm letting you know. So domains, guys, is first of all, uh, the on an average cost is ten, eleven, twelve dollars, which is almost like five hundred, five fifty, or six hundred Indian rupees, or sometimes seven hundred also. So ranging from five hundred to seven hundred. I am telling you a certain trick through which you can actually buy across the domain at a lesser price at least for the first year, which is almost close to 99 Indian rupees. All you have to do is you have to go to google.com. I'm telling you a trick through which you can save money. And uh, the name, uh, the, the overall keyword which has to be mentioned across is All right, so buy cheap domain, buy domain for less. I mean, these are the kind of words you can mention. The moment you're going to mention this kind of a keyword, guys, that on the top, you'll find certain advertisements, the paid ads from GoDaddy, from Big Rock, all of these, which would mention that you can buy it across for 99 Indian rupees kind of stuff. All right, so you can go ahead and click onto them. So a domain which is worth almost like... Uh, you know, 500, 600, 700 rupees, you will get it across for with this particular trick, which is not a uh, very huge trick. It's just that you have to type in across a keyword like this, which I've told you. And uh, the first and the foremost ad, which is by GoDaddy or by Big Rock, you can click and then buy it from there. All right, so this particular URL, guys, which I'm sharing it with each one of you, will give you the access to purchase across a domain for a lesser price. When you say how the rate is different, this is a promotional offer. So I have told you how to really jump onto that promotional offer page. So the $10, $11, $12 one, Will, will be actually for 500, 600 or 700 Indian rupees. But the way I have told you, which is a trick only, you will be landing onto the page, the promotional page where GoDaddy is offering it across for 99 Indian rupees only. 
all right 99 for the first year second year it'll start uh, it will be the same actual price like 10 11 12 dollar and so forth the first year is going to be 99 another thing is this 99 feature or uh, this 99 promotional offer is going to be valid only if you haven't really created across any uh, you haven't really created across account with godaddy ever before because godaddy actually keeps a track or any other player that keeps a track of the you know ip addresses and from one ip address only one particular account can be created and one account can only have one specific uh, domain being purchased at 99 Indian rupees only. This, if there is a try to get across the second one, that won't happen. All right, so let's try to see any specific domain. Yeah, it's okay, absolutely. What domain shall I? All right, so I'm typing in digital hyphen marketing hyphen training. All right, just taking an example. Let's search. So as you can see, this domain is already taken and I've got options here from GoDaddy. That this one is not available, you can go with the other one. It's a digital telemarketing training. Digital marketing training web. So I can try out another name. All right, so this is available. Guys, this is available for 99. I can add it to the cart and get going with this. All right, so I'll purchase this, guys, right in front of you, and then we'll move ahead. Now it's showing 749 and uh, it's showing just because it has clubbed altogether two years, uh, you know, duration on its own. I'm changing it to one year. All right, so after taxes and so forth, it's 127. All right, so I can go in and click on to proceed to check out. All right, now it's asking me for, uh, sign up guys. Now I've got multiple accounts and my IV address has already been taken across. So that's why I won't be able to buy this with the same offer guys. All right, so I won't be able to buy it across with the same offer. I can try it. With my other domain seller guys from which I buy across, I would prefer for each one of you to buy it from GoDaddy. But uh, since I cannot buy it because of the fact that I have purchased multiple domains from GoDaddy earlier, now it, the, this offer will not get accepted as I move further because I've already purchased plenty of times the 99 rupees thing. So just to get Get the domain purchase thing guys i am i'm actually onto a different domain provider that's called crazy domains all right crazy domains it's very much like uh, this is very much like code rd and big rock and several others i buy across multiple domains from here only All right, so as you can see, there are multiple domains which are over here. 
Now what I can do is I can type in the domain name which I was looking at a while back. Let's see how much is this one really going to give me without any promotional offer being added. All right, so it's called crazy domains. My overall uh, suggestion to each one of you is to go with GoDaddy when it comes down to purchasing. All right, so as you can see, this one is giving me for nine dollars and thirty cents, guys. So, whereas for in on GoDaddy it was a lesser price. I can just check if there are some other which are available at a lesser price. All right, so all of these domain guys are available at a higher price. Uh, so nobody wants to purchase it right now, right? Uh, we want Nitin only to actually get this for us. How do we move ahead then? All right, so I'm just trying to check if I can find across a cheaper one over here just to get an understanding of it. All right, so in none of them it's available. I'll, I'll go back to Daddy and see if it's going to allow me since it knows about my IP address. One second. All right, so I'll just log in from my existing GoDaddy account and see if it's going to allow me. All right, so I have to mention across a card number only. Now they haven't really done this kind of a thing before. I can pay across from another source also other than this but they're asking me only to enter across a credit or a prepaid card. All right, guys, so you just might have to give me some time. I'll grab across my details. All right, and then I'll be able to punch that across. Uh, can you just give me two minutes time? I'll, I'll grab my card and then I'll purchase it right in front of you and then we'll move further. Right? I'll just, uh, I don't have my card right now with me. Yeah, just give me two minutes. I'm going to be on uh, mute for two minutes.
All right, guys, I'm back. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, punch in across the details. But for that very part, I'll uh, pause the screen. My All right, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the screen again so that it doesn't come in the recording. All right, my voice, my, my audio would be very much there, but video, I'm going to stick it across for a while. All right, just give me a few more minutes. I'm just checking if this allows me or not. I, I have put it across the details. All right, guys, can you see that uh, what message is Google, uh, this GoDaddy saying? We can only offer such great promotions by limiting them to one per customer. It looks as if you've already used this type of promotion. We have updated your card with the next best promotion if one is available. So like I already told you, now you can see the screen, right? Just trying to check that first. You can see my screen right where the GoDaddy message is right there, right? All right, so. I've got a confirmation from Anuja. I hope everyone can see, right, my screen. All right, thanks, Pratik. So I was, I, I did like mention, thanks, Sovik, thanks, Atanu, and thanks, Mukul, for acknowledging that with GoDaddy, it's just that, you know, only one customer, one particular customer can buy this kind of promotional offer only once. I've already procured it, so that's why I might not be able to get it. But I would uh, like this uh, process to be done by each one of you guys yourself instead of uh, Nitin going ahead and doing it for you because uh, the learning has to be there, right? Once you will be doing it, the access is there going to be with you. I'll, I'll check with Nitin what exactly uh, needs to be done, whether you guys should go ahead and uh, get this across purchased or he would do it for you. Well, even if you would do it, I'll, I'll make sure that the reimbursement happens, whatever money gets deducted from your side. All right, so let me see what is the next offer which these guys are going to give me. All right, so I, I'm not going to go with this much higher price. The, hey, uh, I don't understand what, what is this saying? 12 rupees and 91 rupees totals up to 702 rupees. This is strange. This is strange. All right, so Atun says, I think we should try uh, do it by ourselves to understand the process. Absolutely, yes, absolutely. So I've selected only one year. This is this is the one time, one uh, yearly price only. If you want, you can buy it right now. Absolutely, yes. Once you are once you're done with buying across, I can let you know the process ahead.
Yes, you would have to select the name first for this part. All right, so let's do it this way. Can any one of you actually buy a domain and then after you have purchased a domain, the process through which I have told you, I'll log into your GoDaddy account over here and then give you hosting to each one of you. So uh, we'll not wait for hosting. I have my own hosting server or you are already onto it. So let's do one thing. Let's take our uh, 20, 25 minutes break right now, okay? And during the break, you can try this out and after, uh, after that, so each one of you want to try it during the break? Will that be good? Perfect. So we'll meet after the break, guys. And uh, all those, yes, please, Anuja, go ahead with your question. Right, so you just have to select the name and complete the purchase process and make sure that you're not paying more than 100 or 120 Indian rupees more than that. Because if it's gonna be more than that, then there is no point. So you need to decide the, uh, the, uh, the name, the type of the website, absolutely yes. If you think it's gonna take time, you're not, you're not decided on the name right now, then any one of you can actually give me a domain uh, by purchasing it. If any one of you have decided on that, then I can, log into your GoDaddy account uh, and then do it across. Also, you can try out Big Rock. If in case GoDaddy doesn't work, guys, then uh, Big Rock also offers a cross for 99 Indian rupees. Just buy it for one year and make sure you do not pay more than 100, 110 or 120, so forth, right? If you don't have a GoDaddy account, you can try that. You can try doing that. All right, so you guys can try this across and uh, we'll meet after the bigger break. All right, so I'm putting myself onto mute and then we'll meet. We can go for it. Uh, yes, you can go for any sort of a website. The, the kind of a website is something which will get decided later, as in later in the sense, the functionality part would be implemented later. Right now, whatever name you wanna keep, whether it's a name of a, e-commerce website, the name represents that it's a non-e-commerce or just an informative site, you can do that, not a problem. All right, so I'm putting myself onto mute and then we'll meet after break, guys. Thanks.
All right, guys. Uh, um, let's get started after the break and. So who all have, who you can do, uh, Atanu, all right. Uh, who has been able to perform this task? All right, so with you, you bought it. And uh, Atanu, for it's still showing rupees 702 and 516 for .10. All right, so maybe for you from your IP address, there could have been uh, there would have been a domain purchase maybe in the past that could have been a scenario did you try using that particular url which i did share with you so uh, somebody who has been able to do it can can you share across okay it's showing 99 at the beginning and later on it's uh, showing more then uh, can you try big rock I'm sharing across the URL with you. So even for one year, I, I got your point. So, you know, in your IP address, uh, somebody would have actually purchased. That's why you're not getting this option. This could be a scenario. This could be a reason behind that. All right, so I've given you the big rock one, the big rock URL, if you can try on that. And anyone else who has been uh, able to get it across, can you share across uh, your GoDaddy username and password? So Sovik so said that he's been able to do it, right? And Mukul, I believe you have also been able to do. How about others? Anuja, how about you? Mukul, you were able to do it. Sovik was able to do Pratik and Anuja. And so we uh, did through Facebook on it. That's great. All right, Pratik, you were unable to do. What's the error which you're getting? I mean, what's, where's the, what's, it, where's, what's the challenge like? Uh, you're not able to think about a domain name. Is that so? And you want to do it later? Is, if that's the case, then it's okay. Oh, that you have done. All right. Of that option which is coming across is only your credit card is that so okay so the way we are getting across options of credit debit and several other options are here have you confirmed have you uh, what do you say yes did the confirmation part in terms of confirming in your godaddy account Pratik, maybe you can uh, talk to the support team by calling in this number. Maybe tomorrow and so forth, you can try doing that. And let them know that you don't uh, want the credit card option, you want another option also to be there. And you want to buy across the domain. And so anyone else who's, who had a problem, so Pratik, I've told you, maybe the support team can help you with this. And Sovik has been able to do, Mukul has been able to do, uh, for Atanu, uh, I have shared across a big rock URL for you. Anucha, how about you? Were you able to perform it? Any challenge you had? Or were you successful in terms of doing it? Oh, you're still in process, okay. Sure, Anuja, let me know what's the process, what's the issue like. All 
or the only option is credit card also for you. Sure, Mukul, you can share across your details. I can go ahead and move further. And uh, you can do that across by uh, in, in a private chat, right? So you can do that across. And later on, you can ch change it across also. Uh, Anuja, for you also, I would recommend that you do uh, call up the support team tomorrow. All right. So we get saying you don't know how to change the password. Well, it happens when you get into, when you log in into your account, it should. And in Big Rock, it's showing 800 plus. Or it's just call up the GoDaddy people tomorrow. I think that they'll help you. Uh, Atanu for you also, because it's a bit weird. Sometimes they do help you to get, get across uh, for free. I mean, for not free, I mean 120, 130 rupees. But if it's showing across at a higher price and that too with a credit card, the support team can actually help you. Because the way I do it, uh, if, I, if I don't get it across and I try on a different browser, guys, on a different browser uh, is something or maybe on a mobile phone, on a mobile phone, you can try that. So you can try doing that across on a mobile phone, Atanu, if you, oh, uh, that, that might help you. Or it's I'm just logging into uh, one of the GoDaddy account, guys, uh, which Mukul has shared. Perfect, Atanu. All right, so I'm logging into one of the GoDaddy accounts and letting you know what is the other thing, guys, which needs to be done. I'll, uh, in terms of hosting, guys, you don't need to purchase across hosting. And this particular amount, which uh, you are spending for 120 rupees and so forth, don't spend more than that. If you're getting across for a, a higher price, don't, don't purchase at a higher price. We'll definitely get across at a lower price. Some of you have got it and some of you are still in the process. Right. Once you get it across for a lesser price, then uh, I'll give you across the hosting from my side. All right. So I, I do not need to wait across for further more uh, days and so forth. I'll give you hosting straight away. And uh, so I think Sovik and Mukul, both of you have been able to perform it. Right. So I'll, I'll give you hosting straight away. And uh, with hosting and domain, you'll be able to start working onto your website. Now I'm going to be uh, quick in terms of showcasing you the steps, guys. Let's see whether those steps are going to work across right now or not. Once you have logged in, why I'm saying why, whether they'll work or not, because uh, once you buy across a domain, there is a certain time, wait time period. There's a certain wait pe waiting period. And uh, sometimes it comes out to be two minutes and sometimes it comes out to be two, uh, two days also. So let's see how how luck really plays across in our case. If it's going to be two days, then it could be difficult uh, and we might have to do it next Saturday. Else, uh, so, but by then, everyone should be there with the, with the domain at least. Now, once you have purchased the domain, you have to log into your GoDaddy account again and then click on to manage my domain. Okay, click on to manage my domain is the next thing once you have purchased the domain, guys. That's the next step. The session is getting recorded and you can at any time go ahead and refer to the recording once again to, all right, so verification of your email address uh, has not been done. All right, so an email has been sent across to you, uh, Mukul, on your email address, which you used to log in, or right, you've done it. So why is it still showing that? I'm just going ahead and refreshing. Uh, have you done it just now? Or it's strange that it's it's still showing then. Oh, you've done it just now. All right. Mm. All right. Perfect. It's been done. Now, like I said, once you log in, you have to click on to manage your domain and your domain is right up over here. You have to go to the settings, the domain settings, guys. All right. The next step is to go ahead and, all right, so it still shows verify your email. Can you do it once again, Mukul? I'm not sure why it's showing again and again. Till the time this verification won't happen, we won't be able to move ahead. And the next step would be to go ahead and click onto domain settings.
what is the domain name i'll just tell you see uh, what we did once we have purchased the domain i'm showing it again once we have purchased thanks mukul for doing it again once we have purchased the domain we have to go to either the manage why is my interface difference interface are going to be different in some way or the other so what you have to do is uh, you have to look for either the domain section and click on to all domains or manage my domain so by clicking on to the on the top you will on the drop down you will either get manage my domains my domain the, this kind of a what do you say bar you have you would have to really receive you know godaddy keeps changing its uh, dashboard interface different for different instances but uh, nevertheless we still be able to do it it's just that we have to find across the domain name now over here the domain name is jim sam samrat.com i believe that's how you pronounce it jim samrat.com and uh, over here right thanks and uh, are you able to so so we let me know once you're there all right now we have to click on to manage dns guys now dns i'll tell you dns is dns stands for domain name server all right domain name server guys is something which is going to be used across as an input for connecting across our domain and hosting as of now we have just purchased the domain okay we haven't purchased the hosting purchasing of hosting is also absolutely absolutely similar process the way we go ahead and uh, purchase across something over the internet we just add it to the cart and then purchase it right by giving across our debit card or credit card details and so forth there is uh, hardly any uh, what do you say trick to get it across for a cheaper price and so forth but we are giving it right to each one of you i'll add it to my hosting server your domain so what i am doing i'm clicking on to manage dns as of now as a step 2 and in the manage dns section you don't have to do anything to uh, anything with respect to the records over here you just have to go to name servers so dns stands for domain name server and this name server is something which we will be changing so i'll click on to change all right instead of domain default i'll be clicking on to custom and i have to enter the name server details guys this name server detail is something which we will be getting it across from our hosting provider i am just pausing this process as of now up till over here uh i have a uh, you know feeling that if i'll go ahead and move further you guys will get lost you have to first of all get across your domain actually set up each one of you i mean you have to get across purchase it across first of all and then we'll be able to do it what we can do either uh how should we go ahead and do this across will you let me know once once you have purchased across the domain guys each one of you and how would you do that so all right sure you can so email me across once your domain has been booked guys and uh, what i'll do i'll set up the hosting for you and in next class i'll let you know how the domain and hosting was being set up across all right in the next session i'll teach you how i mean the steps after that you just have to go ahead and uh, couple of you sovik and mukul have been successful in terms of doing it it's good and all the other people uh, can actually try speaking to the godaddy guys or try working it around uh with a with a mobile phone or so forth right maybe on a mobile phone you might be able to do it and get it across for 120 rupees and so forth but don't spend more than that that's what i'm telling you once you are able to do it just mail me across on this email address or whatsapp me yes it's going to be for one year no so domain you can never buy for months and so forth you can never buy, you can never buy for uh you know less than one year and you don't have in this case don't buy for two years or don't buy for three years just buy it for one year
All right, so you can email me across, guys, once you're done, uh, once you've booked the domain, and uh, you would have to email me across your uh, GoDaddy. Or, all right, so I think we will be able to do it next session only. I'll do it right in front of you. I think that will make more sense. Right, so once you are done, just, okay, I am changing my mind again. Once you're done, all you have to do is you have to send me across your GoDaddy details. That's it. I'll go ahead and set it up and I'll show you what exactly I did in the next session. So once you're done, send me across your GoDaddy details, guys. I'll uh, set it up for you and uh, we'll take it further from there. In the next session, our website. Yes, question. Absolutely. So let me know. GoDaddy details as in the username and password. The username and password of your. The username and password of your GoDaddy account. That's it. Yes, absolutely. Send it across on my mail ID. Right. All right. So that is like my your Facebook ID and password. Then in that case, uh, 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 just try speaking to these guys. Uh, what do you say? Again, what do you call them? The support team and let them know that you want to change your password and uh, then get, give me across a new password in that case. Right? So, but if you don't have any problem in sharing it, you can do that. I will be just using your GoDaddy account. If in case you want to change it across, you can anytime speak to them. And should I first create code? Okay, Atanu says, should I first create GoDaddy ID and then try to purchase? Oh yes, uh, uh, that's uh, well. Well, speak to the these guys. They'll let you know how to go about it because I have done both. I've done both ways, Atanu. I have purchased uh, the domain, and uh, I mean I've added to the card and then signed up, right? But sign up is something which is necessary. You can do both ways. You can uh, sign up first and then purchase the domain, or you can add it to the, uh, you know, purchase it. While purchasing it, they'll automatically ask you to sign up. Sign up is something which will happen for sure. Mukul is saying you have to first create an account on GoDaddy. You can do it this way, right? All right. So we'll wrap up our session for today. You've got my email address, right? You can uh, send me across an email, guys, once you're done with the uh, purchasing of the domain. And next Saturday, we'll be meeting across the same time. And we'll uh, next Saturday, Sunday, we'll be uh, able to set it up in terms of your website uh, structure, at least, would be ready. Not the content part, because content is something which you would be working on your own. So next weekend, we would be able to get the website up with uh, these server details, the hosting and setup, and the theme setup and so forth. All right. So perfect. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, launch across the poll, guys. Just give me a second. And Yes, please, uh, please, please let me know. If you face any problem, yes, you can email me across. You can email me across. All right, guys, I'm just going to launch across the poll in a second. Give me a moment. In case of any feedback, any uh, particular suggestion you have, you can feel free to put that across in the chat window also. And I'm just going to launch it across.
All right, guys, the poll is right in front of you. All right, so for any more seconds. All right, thanks so much, guys, for all your feedback. I think everybody is done. Thanks so much. I'm uh, going ahead and ending the poll. As of now, you would not be able to uh, work on the domain because I haven't told you these steps further, right? I would have to tell you the steps further all together when each one of us are going to be on the same page. That's what the idea is. All right, so as of now, you're good. You can just go ahead and uh, I'll, I'll share across that particular document which I have created so far. And uh, you can get some more knowledge around that only. So it was a first week, so you don't have much in terms of uh, sort of a homework kind of a thing to work around, right? But from next week, uh, you'll have a lot of, uh, I mean, you'll, you'll, start, you'll, start, you'll have more things to work on, which is like working onto your website and so forth, right? That'll start, it'll start from there. Make sense? Any further, any last questions or uh, any further queries you have, feel free to put that across in the chat window so that I can help you. Yes, recorded sessions, sessions will, recording of the sessions will be shared across with you this week itself. Yes, and the doc also. Yes, I'll be sharing across the doc also through an email. So you'll be you you'll get across an email with the link of the recorded session. It would be uploaded across somewhere. All right, perfect stuff, guys. Thanks so much. You, uh, and in case of any queries and so forth, uh, any subject-related query, you can. Email me across. Otherwise, with regards to recording and so forth, all of those things, you can anytime get in touch with Nitin. Right? So, Nitin would be your point of contact for those admin related queries. All right. Thanks, everyone. And we only have to, you just have to purchase their domain name. That's it. Yes, that's it. Rest, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, look into the, uh, what do you say, recordings once again. Plus, you can, uh, search over the internet about various other things which we have spoken in the beginning like whether it's about seo whether it's about google adwords i mean if you find time uh, just google across and you'll get some more more content related to that since it's a first week so uh, you don't have much in terms of working around onto it but but later you will be All right. Thanks, everyone, for being part of the session today. We'll be meeting across uh, on Saturday, next Saturday, same time, and we'll take it further from there. And uh, in case of any uh, you know, trouble with regards to your domain part, you can email me across. And uh, in case of recording and so forth to be shared, you can get in touch with uh, Nitin. He'll be, uh, he'll be sharing that across with each other. Take care, guys. Thank you. Have a great rest of the day, and have a great uh, remaining Sunday. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.